Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Williams with Black Public Media. I'm a virtual reality editor, producer, and developer, and VR has given me the chance to work with some awesome companies, celebrities, and travel the world. As a nascent industry, there's so much opportunity in the XR space, and I hope these tutorials help you find some. Today, we're going to be talking about 360 audio, also known as spatial audio. Spatial audio which is any audio that gives you a sense of space beyond conventional stereo, allowing the user to pinpoint where sound is coming from, whether that is above, below, or a full 360 around you. There are two main ways to handle spatial audio. The first being recording it with an omnidirectional mic, and the second being sound design through a DAW, or digital audio workstation. These two options can also be combined. Which option you use will depend on the story you're trying to tell. In some cases, simple stereo audio is enough if you just want to draw the viewer's focus to one element or speaker. There are an increasing number of options for recording spatial audio. Some options include the H2N, which is the most affordable option and can cost about $200. Some of the others include the H3 VR and the HEAR 360 8-Ball Omnibineural Microphone. There's also a Sennheiser Ambio VR mic, which boasts four matched KE14 capsules in a tetrahedral arrangement. Now, I don't really know what that means, but it sure sounds fancy. The HEAR360 and Ambio VR mic are great tools that can create a wonderful 360 sound mix, but they're also one of the things that will create a sizable increase to your budget, so you really need to decide if it's necessary for your project. Depending on your project, it may be beneficial to use Zoom F8 Field Recorder to capture your audio. But getting fancy with field recorders is not a requirement and is a whole skill set in itself, so you don't need to worry too much about this starting out. For simple projects, most 360 cameras record some type of internal spatial audio, so in a worst case scenario, you can always use that. But if you have an interview to capture or an audio source that you need to stand out, it's recommended that you record it with the lavalier mic. Adobe Premiere allows you to edit spatial audio in your sequence as long as you've recorded with an ambisonic microphone. Once added to your sequence, toggle on VR Video Display. Once VR Video Display has been turned on, click on the wrench in the bottom right corner of the program monitor, then select Monitor Ambisonics. Now if you put on your headphones and play back your video in spatial audio, you will hear sounds louder when you are looking at the source and fainter when the audio source is farther away. If you want to adjust your spatial audio, in the effects panel, search for Panner and you will find Panner and Bisonics under your effects template. Just drag the effect onto your spatial audio in the timeline and select effect controls. Now you'll be able to pan your audio sources on the X, Y, and Z axis in order to make any desired adjustments. As a warning, I would stay away from using any audio effects that are not labeled for ambisonics on any ambisonic audio. Two side notes. You can only do one track of ambisonic audio if it's multi-track in Premiere. There are two types of audio ambisonic formats, A format and B format. A format is the raw recording of the four individual cardioid capsules in ambisonic microphones. Since each microphone has different capsules at slightly different distances, the A format is somewhat specific to the microphone model. B format is the standardized format derived from the A format. The first channel carries the amplitude information of the signal, while the other channels determine the directionality through phase relationships between each other. Once you get your sound into B format, you can use a variety of ambisonic tools to mix and alter it. It will need to be in the B format while working in Premiere. There are available converters that can be found online with a quick Google search. If you are very passionate about sound and you want to create spatial audio cues and audio environments from scratch, I recommend checking out a digital audio workstation or DAW which is an electronic device or application software used for recording, editing, and producing audio files. Some popular tools in the spatial audio arena include Facebook's 360 Workstation, Reaper, and Pro Tools. Well guys, that's it for today. Just as a recap, we covered spatial audio. Next time, we'll be learning about After Effects and game engines. See you then.